Another rent control policy, this is something you have to do when you evict the tenant. Stay tuned to this episode of Prime Properties TV. I promise you it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Properties. I'm so glad you could join us. Some of you guys know half a year ago, I injured my left arm pretty badly, and I really didn't tend to it about three to four months ago. So thank goodness my friend and client, Dr. Martin Lai, actually helped me regain my full motion and my strength back in my left arm. I don't know what the technical term for it, but basically all I knew is I couldn't go to the gym to lift weights for quite a long time. Well, it's safe to say that I am much better now and actually stronger than ever. So you guys check this out. I got my new personal record in weighted pull-ups. It's pretty sweet. I'm pretty impressed up with that. But it's definitely humbling and a good reminder to take care of our bodies, especially when we're injured. It reminded me that all good things require hard work and patience and that sometimes the difficult times that we need to go through are absolutely mandatory because it makes us stronger. As Gary Vaynerchuk puts it, we need to to have macro patience for the long haul and micro speed to consistently improve, okay? In this week's episode, it's coming to you guys a little bit late because there's been so much stuff that's been happening, um, but I would almost say that this government intervention almost got swept under the carpet because what? No one's really talking about it. And at this point, if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, it definitely got swept under the rug. As part of the House Housing, uh, Fair Housing and Rental Fairness Act, or what most people are just calling rental control, they added a new addendum to it. And what this addendum basically says that is if you as a landlord move the tenant out for any reason, whether it's a family member moving in, you're moving in, or you evict them for being a bad tenant for N4 or N12, you basically as a landlord are 100% on the hook for paying them one month's rent to compensate them for moving out, which is kind of nuts if you, if you think about it. It sounds like to me that there are a lot more renters in Toronto than there are landlords, and this is again another political move. Although I do have to say that this does close the loophole that was kind of evicting a tenant for the purpose of moving a family member in so that you can basically turn around and rent it at a high rate. Basically bypassing the rent control rules is ultimately kind of thwarted now. So at the end of the day, I think it is a good move to protect the tenants, but how much will it affect the landlord side? Who knows? So here's my thinking. With all these anti-landlord legislations that the province of Ontario keeps implementing, they're making it a lot harder for people to be landlords or even want to be a landlord. And I honestly think this is a blindsided approach, again, to for the short term to look good, but it's gonna have really bad effects in the long run. You have to keep in mind with the rent control, what happened was they completely abolished a thousand purpose-built rental units because no one wants to rent units out and make money if there's rent control in the city. And you also gotta factor in the fact that the Toronto has not built a purpose-built rental in decades. So you gotta think, who supplies all this rental properties to the people who can't afford to buy? The secondary market. Who do you think is supplying the secondary market with properties? Yes, you guessed it, it's the exact same people who the city and the province is trying to screw over, the private landlords. This ultimately could affect supply in the future, but who knows, we'll see, that's just my two cents. Having said all that, it's pretty difficult to track whether a family member moved in or a lot unless you hire Sherlock Holmes on your landlord. So here's a secret in the industry. When you buy a new build condo, a lot of the times you actually can't rent it out, but 95% people still do because no one really polices it, nor can you really be traced if you don't use the MLS, if you catch my drift. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you learned something, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed watching the videos, subscribe to Prime Private Studio right here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or contact me directly. My contacts are right here. And please guys, remember to share this with family and friends because like I can always say, an educated consumer is the best consumer. I'll see you next time, Toronto. Happy real estate. Oh. It's going. How come it doesn't make a shutter noise anymore? It doesn't, it never made a shutter noise. Oh, really? Oh, okay, all right, let's go.